The flooding of the Fortnite map. We're going to be taking a very first look at what this looks like as we move into Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. Due to start on June the 4th, which means we're less than a month away and the leaks are coming thick and fast and everything in this video is going to blow your mind as to what the next season will include. Including an early look at the Fortnite map, what it's like to experience an underwater part of the map and more information right here in this video. You're going to want to see it all. If you're watching this and you're excited for a brand new Fortnite season, just hit the thumbs up button right now to show your support. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And a big thank you to everyone popping in code Allier in the Fortnite item store. I do really appreciate it. Now, in case all of this flooding information is confusing you a little bit, just before we take an early look at the next Fortnite map, let me tell you what's been leaked so far. Well, we know from in-game files there have been three different posters, all based around the water theme for Fortnite. All of these posters contain the logo for the No Sweat Insurance Company that has reappeared in Lazy Lake. This building is essentially popping up with lots of signs all over the map offering up its insurance policy. But why would these buildings need insurance? Well, if a massive flood is about to come, that's why. On top of that first scene within the Travis Scott live event, the ability to actually swim underwater was shown for the very first time. It is very much believed that this will be carried over into the next season with a lot of the maps seeing a flood allowing you to not only move on the water but now actually explore underwater as well. One of the biggest and wackiest leaks is the fact that sharks will be rideable vehicles in the next season and sharks can also be seen in one of the official teaser posters so it's all linking in and everything's pointed towards a flooded map. Also covered here on the channel is a load of leaks including skins for the next season as well with the whole theme being underwater and the flooded theme that's going to be going on. There is lots of skins that are going to be remakes of skins from previous battle passes and also information on the secret battle pass skin being Aquaman just like we got Deadpool this time. If you want to see more information on that video I'll link it down below. You can watch it after this one for more season 3 information. If there's any doubt in your mind about a flood coming to Fortnite let's not forget because a lot of people are forgetting this that actually as soon as chapter 2 started it was discovered fairly early on that there was an area of the map which literally spelt out Noah. N-O-A-H. Noah being the story from the bible where he gets two of every animal, jumps in his ark and basically saves the animals from the flood so he can restart all of the an restart all the animals <laughs> so we can breed all of the animals again and basically restart civilization there's been hints towards the flooding of this map for ages now so yeah it's gonna be happening. Now, I must actually debunk something right now. A lot of people are starting to realize there's small puddles, small little pools of water around the map in fairly unusual places. Obviously, people are linking it in, the flood, water appearing around the map. I hate to say it, but actually, all of these puddles of water and watery areas that people are finding have been found in the original map at the beginning of chapter two. So although I'd never discourage people from always checking all areas of the map to see things that are new, do verify them to make sure they haven't been there already. Now that we're all up to date, we're going to be looking at what the Fortnite map could look like in Season 3. Now, just before I show you this, there needs a little bit of explanation as to how this was actually worked out. Thanks to Epic Jake on Twitter, he took it upon himself to actually go ahead and work out where all of the no sweat insurance signs which had popped up recently were actually located and how many there actually were in each location. Having done all of this work, we can see that there's 10 in Frenzy Farm, another 10 in Pleasant Park, 8 in Sweaty Sands and 7 in Holly hedges. And we know from the teaser poster image that buildings apparently that will be affected by the floods if they're covered by this insurance will be saved because of their insurance policy, which not only means that this area should be seeing a lot of floods, but the buildings here should survive. However, the areas where there aren't any of these insurance signs will either see no flooding or if they do flood, the buildings won't be protected. So how will this look, you ask? Well, let's take a look. On screen here, we can see potentially one of the very first looks as to what a season three flooded map would look like in Fortnite. Created by Mo. I'll leave a link to Mo's channel down below in the description. He has gone ahead and done extensive research, which I will explain to you guys, and there are several things included here that need to be explained so you guys know what's going on. The first thing here is how do we know which parts of the map, if it does flood, will end up being underwater? Well, according to inside sources, we all know the dam that's been there since the beginning of chapter 2, which has always been rumoured to actually flood, ultimately keeps a lot of 
water in near the lake area, ultimately protecting all the lower areas of the map, but very specifically Slurpee Swamp. The areas of the map here that you're seeing covered in water basically all match the height at which the dam currently sits, and if it flooded, the water would reach all of these areas. Thanks to the information that we got from Epic Jake, all of the buildings specifically listed to have insurance signs are thankfully saved and above water, despite the fact that a lot of those areas will see a lot of flooding, or at least a little bit in those areas. You may be wondering why the southeast, the bottom right area of the map, isn't very much affected, and it's simply because it's such a high area of the map, it's very mountainous, and it literally sits above the rest of the map at a completely higher height. As a result, it's pretty much unaffected. Then unfortunately, if you look at the left side of the map, the west side of the map, you can see a lot of that area is very low, surrounded by potential flood warning, and as a result, Slurpee Swamp could be completely covered up. As we know, near Slurpee Swamp is the rig. And at the moment, we don't know if the brand new season two areas, including obviously the rig, the grotto, the yacht, the shark, and then the agency in the center will make it over. We believe the agency will, but the other four areas could very potentially either be flooded, they are all fairly low and on the outskirts of the map, or get destroyed in some way at the end of season event and not make it over into the next season. There's a few big things here we really need to focus on, but before we get into that, I wanna share with you guys something very cool cool. There's actually been a creation which places a Fortnite building within the water and giving us a slightly early experience of what it's like to be half flooded and half in a normal building when it comes to actually playing Fortnite. Traversing from walking around in a building to actually swimming around. This is a very cool early idea of what a flooded building could be like in the next Fortnite season. Obviously at the moment unfortunately the ability to actually stay underwater and swim underwater is not a feature we can currently access but if you do do imagine that there is going to be buildings, chests, and a lot of the part of the map which is currently now above water, underwater. It could still be looted, could still be accessible because of the fact that that new swimming mechanic will be added. So just because you're seeing potentially your favorite place here flooded or underwater because it is a low area part of the map, do not worry. The potential for it to still be there and be accessed is very much real. Now, what about these big things I really wanted to share with you guys? Well, we're going to be looking in two separate corners of the map. First off, we're going to revisit the rig. This area has actually been changed a lot during this season. Broken up, smashed, damaged, we've all seen that. But what you may not have noticed is the actual leaks and the oil spreading into the water. This is only getting more and more severe and ultimately if this gets completely covered and completely flooded, the effect of that oil leak will be felt throughout the island. With more oil in the water, one of the big things to do within this chapter is obviously fishing. Potentially we could see the whole fishing mechanic affected. Maybe we'll end up getting less fish from fishing and maybe we'll end up getting more trash cans and more bad items from fishing if the water does end up being affected by the oil within certain areas of the map. Now that's not a great thing, but what could be a very good thing is on the complete opposite end of the map. Very well marked up here by Merle in his newest iteration of this map. It's actually the fact that steamy stacks could very well, it is at the edge of the map, end up being flooded. If you don't know and you haven't paid attention, steamy stacks is actually powered by Kevin the Cube. In the chapter two version of the map, the Kevin the Cube didn't end up breaking and destroying half of the map. It ended up being used as a power source. We all know this. You can go inside and use it as a way to jet up into the air and fly around the map but that is all currently being contained and you can't do anything with it it's there sat within steamy stacks being regulated however if that area floods we could potentially see an area repeated from the cube loop late event where ultimately all of that water area turned into purple cube water if you don't remember that allowed us to bounce on it it allowed us to shoot rpgs to bounce off it as well it was a really cool fun area of the map and potentially Potentially could be returning in that area if it does see a flood with the Kevin the Cube liquid being spread. With all of these leaks and obvious pointers towards the flooding of the map, ultimately we need to get to the flooding of the map, obviously. With the next season starting in now just under a month at the beginning of June, we've got just a few weeks left, typically one week before the season begins, where we will be getting a live event. We know there's going to be a doomsday device, we know a lot of it's going to be happening around the agency, whatever is going to be going on is definitely going to be big. I'm still researching and analyzing and pulling in a load of information for that, but whatever happens in the live event will need to directly affect the map to cause some sort of flood to lead into what we're looking at right now. So keep an eye on the dam, keep an eye on the agency, and just generally
definitely keep your eyes peeled on the whole of the map to start getting little teasers as to what's going to be coming to finish off this Fortnite season. There still remains lots of questions. If the map does get flooded, will we be able to build underwater? Will shooting work in the same way underwater? It's going to create a completely different playstyle that we've never seen before in Fortnite. And you know what? I'm down to see what it's like. And hopefully, knowing Fortnite, they're going to do it well. Let me know what you think of this new map and everything that's been shown in this video. Everybody we've talked about will have their links down below in the description. So go and check them out down below as well. Check out more videos on screen here. I hope you've enjoyed. Oh boy, season three is set to be absolutely crazy and it's less than a month away.